Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Death. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. And so we wake in a pile of corpses. And with that, hey everybody and welcome to Not Bring Us Watch. I'm your host Fuck. And tonight we started the winner of our Twitter poll, Vampire. So let's see, we're this this man stumbling here in voices. It's grey and dusty everywhere. And we are tumbling towards this. Let's t uh, tumble. Ah, it's a blood, blood spur, right? Okay. What are these voices we hear? Oh, and what's this? So we are appear to be Jonathan and we are thirsty. We see the heartbeat of this person and she seems to know us. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Mary! Oh, no. Mary! Hold on. Please, hold on. Explain! Oh shit. So we can sprint, right? Okay. Back in this area is nothing. And I think we we need to hurry because oh god. Can we jump? This no. There's one of those no, please stop. I mean you know. Oh god. What's going on? Drop down. Oh Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Shit, where it goes. this? No. Okay. Okay. Are they behind me? Stay back. Sorry, but you left me no choice. A weak reason. Well, but who are you? Self defense. Okay, we lock on. And we attack. Sorry. Okay, so in front of us are more enemies, it seems to be. Or can we dodge them? No, we need to we need to go there, okay. Okay. What do you want? Is this ah okay? Yeah, it's a stamina uh bar. Okay. Um, anything we can collect here? No. So it's the first time I'll play Vampire, and I'm. Nah, I think it's gonna be kind of awesome. I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Huh. Please, listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me! Ah, 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 ah. The sun. Feels like it's burning me to the bone. Okay, mm we can destroy obstacles go. like barrels. Okay, sprint before that one can shoot again. Okay, got rid of that. This this fellow. Anything else we can collect? No. Is 
anybody there? What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Oh. Oh. Wait, this one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. That's impossible. So okay, what do you think would happen? Um, we saw in the intro that there has been uh, this this vampire. I think we have been the the person in the intro, and that there's uh, this vampire we saw bite us, and we transformed into it in, into one ourselves after we died. And these Undertaker we saw in the scene. Uh, after inspecting the woman on the floor, uh, seemed to have robbed us. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. And after we awoke again, we've been thirsty for blood, and in our desperation, we killed our sister, Mary. So, okay. Um, we found shelter in this abandoned place. Now let's. See what we can find here. Let's pillage the place. to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. Okay. Oh, we do have a mirror image. Okay, so... Not like the common vampire in mythology, I think. Wait, we came from here? Here's another dead body. Save him. 
That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. Ooh, wrong one. Use the revolver, a ranged weapon. Okay. Can a revolver use revolver? I think the leveling system will be... Uh, we'll learn more about it later in the game. Okay, so what did we saw there? It looks like we've been field medics. And it's some time of war? A bloody diary. 15th October. Bad sleep. Becky coughed all night and the fever had... A fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to uh, dig a big hole in the underground. It was some a sort of medical, a uh, mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs, uh, needs medicine. 16th October. I talked to the man with the mechanical shovel. They told me they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures apparently. Is there a new epid epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed and there are no more jobs nearby. 19th October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few sirens and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could uh, go to uh, the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow? Uh, but it's so far and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19, 19th October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She is so frail now it makes me cry. She says she hear voices outside uh, uh, at night. She says she wants to eat uh, meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. 21st October. The man with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night, as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left the, uh, this house a week ago. But Becky, she refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? 22nd October. Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but, the, uh, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her cry, uh, crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun I hid in the ceiling since the war to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. 23rd October. I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help. Begging me to let her in, but I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. It would not be long. I pray God it will end soon. 24th October. I was so hungry. I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her, saw her face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. 25th October. The house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you soon enough. Okay, so we found out what happened here. So... This seems to be the husband, and he killed himself, it appeared. And down, the, the woman we saw lying on the floor seems to be Becky. Okay, 
so we uh, receive the revolver of the husband and uh, in the cutscene it looked like it only had until nightfall oh, okay uh, it had only uh, one uh, gun uh, shell left gun shell um, and here now we found out with the diary and I think we should sleep while it's day out there Oh, come on. Only from this side, okay. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. So be it. Rational thinking only. So we need to pull the trigger. And no uh, button else will work. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Evolution. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. So let's see. We have active skills and passive skills. Uh, begin by selecting the available skill. Autophagy. Autophagy. 200 healing. Costs 10 of something. Recovery of 3.0. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. Oh, okay. And every other skill is by now locked. Autofiggy. Select the first level of Autofiggy and spend enough XP to unlock it. We have 1735 XP. And it's a passive ability. The vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh, nerve and bone regeneration. With time this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unaware uh, unwary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block the unnatural regenerative capabil capabilities, they are more vulnerable than you think. Okay, so this is the first level, I think. And we need to spend 600 experience points. So we have 1,135 left. And the next one is 1,300 uh, XP. You have level up and feel stronger. Press B to go back. And now we have some more skills unlocked. The aggressive ones. Claws, Blood Spear and Shadow Mist. You have enough XP to unlock an aggressive skill. Choose one to unlock now. So Claws is a 
close range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. Blood spear, you throw a spear made of blood which can pass through enemies in front of you. Oh, cool. Uh, so there are three range types, close, medium and ranged. Claws is only uh, close, while the blood spear is ranged and what is shadow mist is also ranged. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet uh, or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time causing heavy damage. Area 2 meters. Okay, um, there seems to be some more costs in here or types, types of damage. There's, um, this seems to be combat damage. This seems to be blood damage, and this is some shadow symbol, a shadow damage. Uh, I have not the slightest clue what this uh, costs are, uh, how we how we pay them. Maybe with our own life. Um, and the recovery could be the cooldown time. Uh, so let's go for the blood spear. Level up with 1000 XP. Oh, that's quite expensive. Okay, now select confirm to save your choices. Okay, we'll do that. Ah, okay, we need to hold the button. I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Okay, there's a third bar that appeared, and we have a fat red epsilon on the our compass on the top of our button, uh, top of our monitor so that should be yeah hour ago we are south at south wark strange name south of the river thames and we need to go to the docks oh. okay so Chapter 1, Quarantine. Conduct research on my, on my new condition. Night is here again. I am in London now. Somewhere near the East End docks, I suppose. I don't know this part of town. All I know is this. Someone is killing people. Here. Murdering them. Murdering them. Drinking their blood. Making them like him? Is this what happened to me? My poor Mary. My poor sister. I must follow the blood trail, find answers. Maybe I should start by gathering information about what happened to this place while I was away. Then I will find who did this to me, who made me what I am now. Okay. So this is our quest. Identify and confront the vampire who created me. Uh, and the sub goal is Research North Bank. So... Uh, I think... Oh, people are knocking on the door, so I think we'll confront them next time. We'll end the episode here. Thank you all for watching, for liking, sharing and subscribing. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video of Vampire. Bye.